Hey, I'm Eric. And I'm Grace. We're the Wandering Ravens. And today we are walking a pair of mastiffs in the English countryside. As you may know, we are house sitters, and that means that we occasionally take care of some really fun and large animals. Today we have Bella and Oscar. We're having a really good time with them so far. And today we're just out and about going on a, one of their daily walks. And we wanted to bring you guys along so that you could see this English village that we're staying in and get a glimpse of the countryside while we're at it. We're excited to show you our town. It is quite a bit smaller than the last town we were in, mm -hmm. but it's still gorgeous and yes. Let's do it. <laughs> bring him. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well. Death by the mastiff! <laughs> <laughs> She's just climbing on I don't think she oh. realizes how large she is. She thinks she's a She's small like 200 dog. pounds. Bella is a very cuddly dog. She is eight years old. Her younger pal Oscar here is, how old is Oscar? Two. Two, two years old. Are there sheep out today? Usually there's sheep in this field. I don't see any sheep. Oh man. And Bella has a um, a thing for sheep. See them. She found them. Aw. Meanwhile. Yin, yin. <laughs> we've got some hungry boys back here. <laughs> My gluten allergy is acting up. I kinda wanna just like jump into jump it. Jump into it? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that, you can see sheep way over here. Where is it? There it is. You can see a church steeple. Something I've loved about England is the high number of ancient church steeples that dot the landscape. It's oh, that really must be pretty. the next town. Oh yeah, well, what did they say it was called? Crick. Crick? We yeah, because there's a whole bunch of houses we and stuff actually. There. I wonder what they would have. They might Crick. have more stuff. Crick might have more shops than Killsby. It doesn't look that far. I always say things like that though. I'm like, we can walk there. We can walk there. Four hours later. How have you felt about England? I have felt extremely welcomed by English people. Maybe it's just the towns that we've been in, but it's been extremely nice. Everyone has been so friendly and the towns have been adorable and it has far far exceeded any of my expectations that I had. Would you come back? Yep, for sure. 10 out of 10, I would come <laughs> back here. Would do again. To this exact wheat field. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, wheat. All right, my turn. You can ask me a question. In case you haven't been able to tell, we're just kind of winging this vlog. So. so. Question from my, my fair lady. What have you most enjoyed about our England stay? Oh boy. Um, I've enjoyed so many things. I, I would say probably my favorite experience has been participating in bell ringing practice at the church in Ulster. That was really fun and will probably always be a special memory in my mind because that was just such a crazy experience that we don't have in America and I didn't even know that existed and yet we got to ring some bells. What else? Eating cheese in Bath. We ate so much cheese in Bath. Every night we'd go to the cheese shop and buy 150 or 200 grams of cheese. Watching these dogs has been really fun. I was actually really looking forward to watching these dogs because I've never seen or hung out with a Mastiff in real life and doing so has been a lot of fun because they're giant beasts and it feels like we're walking 
a, a couple of lionesses through the savanna whenever we take them on a walk. And yet they have so little energy. Like you go in the backyard and you play for a couple oh. minutes and then they're done and they fall on the ground and fall asleep. Those have been some of my favorite things. Here. What have been some of your favorite things about England? I love the small town feel. Like um, the communities that are in small towns and how much people interact with each other. And it's just, it feels so old fashioned. Like something, some way the States would have been a long time ago, but it's still here in England. Maybe it's that way in the States too, some places. My goodness, saliva everywhere. <laughs> Oh, don't let him go in the puddle. Wait. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I tried, I but she you. didn't listen to me. Bella, your beautiful paws. Bella. And the owner said it was okay to let them drink out of puddles, which is why she is drinking out of the puddle and I'm not yelling at her. And now she's washing it down with the salad. Something else that I really enjoyed was when we were in Bath, we stayed with a couple of couch surfers for the first time. That was an exciting experience. Um, <laughs> and one of the highlights of that was that one of the guys took us on this long drive through the countryside. And we got to go in all these tiny little back roads into these little farms. And what was that collection of houses? What did he call that? They called it a hamlet. A hamlet. We got to see a hamlet for the first time, which was really cool. It's all these beautiful, old, like hundreds of years old houses in a little collection way out in the middle of nowhere in the English countryside with cows and alpacas, llamas and sheep all around them. It was really pretty. What is some experience that you've enjoyed? That I've enjoyed? Yeah. Just overall in England? Or? Yeah. We had a food festival in our other town that we were in I forgot for about that, yeah. Yeah, we were, we were there for like a month and there was a food festival like the second week we were there. It was amazing. The food was delicious and they had like seven stalls with different companies selling their cheese. It was so good. So good. We ate so much really cheese that day. Over here in this field, we have this pipe. And from what I understand, this actually goes down to a large train tunnel, which is below us. And so what does it sound like when a train goes by? Sounds like a ghost is appearing. It's really eerie. It's like, <laughs> The first time that we heard this creepy ghost sound, it freaked us out because we thought there was a car rushing up behind us super fast and we turned around and there was nothing there and then we remembered, oh right, these forests are haunted. No. We remember that someone had told us that there was a tube up here that lets air out from the train. It's a vent, a massive vent. Throughout our travels, we are trying to find and draw inspiration from different countries to implement into our own future home, because someday we want to have a home, eventually. Yeah, someday we'll build a house. Um, so, we, yes, we want to build a house. And so because of that, everywhere we go now and each house we stay in, we scrutinize them all carefully and think about what elements of them we like or of, you know, what elements of traditional English homes do we enjoy and would we want to implement into our own house someday? I'm being like pull, He's pulling pull you. That. Oscar, wait. Here's a house we really like. Middle Street. All the houses here have the most adorable Englishy names that you'll ever think of. Summer Hill or Sundial Cottage. That was one of them, Sundial yeah. Cottage. Another thing that's interesting, another difference, I guess you could say, is that English houses don't have post boxes, mailboxes. And instead, every house has a slit in the front door and that's where you put the mail through, is through that slit in the door. They get tuckered out so easily. They're done. Yeah, just a little bit of walking, a little bit of exercise, and then they just want to take a nap. They'll sleep the rest of the day. Yeah, literally the rest of the day. Are you guys ready? Wishing well cottage. That's adorable. Mm. Hey, what are you doing? There's a whole bunch of thatched houses, and these ones, um, I was really surprised because we found out that they only have to change the thatching every, what was it? 40 years? Yeah, 40, they said 40 to 60 years. Which to me seems like a long time to have some straw in your house. When they built these houses, they would make this thatched um, wall out of sticks. Bella, 
Bella, come on. And then they would smear it and cover it all with mud and horse manure and things like that. So that what you ended up having was a wall kind of like this one right here, actually. See, this one has all the mud on it and hasn't been painted. And so some of the houses get painted and other ones just stay with the mud. There we go. Let's see how long does it take them to melt. Oh, no time at all. <laughs> All right, so that was our walk through the English countryside. We're back home now, and you were just saying features that you've noticed on English homes that we want to one day do on our own home. Yes. Um, I think specifically the garden. English people do gardens really well. As, As you, you can see, see Jinx. Jinx. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You want me to kiss? Another thing is that we always thought we would get a wood house because most American houses are built of wood. But since being here, we've realized that we really like the look of stone or the bulky kind of old brick. Yeah. 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 And that is a look that you don't really see at all in America, mm -hmm. especially, or at least in Washington. And it might be because we have a lot of earthquakes, but we'd like to make a house out of that. That'd be really cool. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. What about thatch? Do you want to do a thatch house? Nah. No. <laughs> That's just too much work. It's also a huge fire hazard. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah, I can't... It's like living under a bunch of matches. It's a little bit scary. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button so that YouTube knows you like it too and shows this video to more people. And subscribe to get more travel in your life and to see where we go next. We're yes. setting out on a new destination very soon. Yes. But I don't think we've told anyone where no. it is yet. We are leaving for a new country in two weeks. Dun dun. Can you guess? Put Can it in the guess? comments. Put it in the comments. I'm just repeating everything she says now. All Bye. Right. Bye.